What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail. Is monogamy about faithfulness or finances? Picture came from the movie Acrimony when the man gave a, a check and it went left after that, basically. So some ladies want monogamy. Most ladies want monogamy. But the question, for what reason? Do you want a guy to just have sex with you and only you and have a relationship with you and only you because you want love? Or do you want monogamy because you want a guy to have to spend money on you and only you and things tied to you and things that you can benefit of, benefit from solely? See, if you want these guys and you want to, and you want this man to marry you and you want to be with this guy and you want to have access to his resources, then you prostituting yourself. If it's a mix of both, very understandable. You know, if you if you in it for love, very understandable. You just don't want him to be with anybody else. You know. If you get a, a man's heart, he'll give you his wallet. But if you chase a man's wallet, you never get his heart. You know? And this is where this comes into play. Because some folks, you know, um, want you to chase a guy's resources without, you know, explaining to that person when you're chasing a person for their resources, it becomes a transaction. It becomes an exchange. So stop looking for some type of sentimental sentiment when you're in this for a quote-unquote fair exchange. Which is usually an unfair exchange, but that's neither here nor there. But see, once you get into this idea that, you know, faithfulness, you want to be with this person and this person only. It's understandable. You actually like this person. This is the person you want to be with. This is your best friend. This is the person that somebody could come along who is better in, in, in areas, but just because they're better than that man does not mean you want to be with that man. He might be better than that man, but he, not, he might not be the best man for you, and you understand that. The man that you love is the best man for you. You know? But... Getting into the conversation is, what exactly, for those who, who, who want to be faithful to the finances and want mon financial monogamy, what exactly are you going to do with that money besides something selfish? See, the women who want faithfulness, when, when finances come into play, they're looking at it, they're financially a team player. They're looking at what, can, what is right for the, for the family, for the team itself financially so we can all be straight and we can just love on each other. But you other kind of folks who are in it for the, you know, the financial monogamy, you are in it for everything that you can get. So even if there was money and you had kids and family members involved, it would be you first. Maybe the kids second, maybe the, the, the husband third, maybe. Because it might be, you know, you first, you know, your family, you know, your kids second, your family third, and then your husband. Because that's how some of y'all think. And I've seen it play out, and, you know, thus a lot of these problems that we're having. So, at the end of the day, I'm just saying. Which one are you actually looking for? Because right now, it seems like the majority are looking for financial monogamy. So, and not necessarily faithfulness. Because y'all could be with somebody who cheat on you as long as he give you some bread. So, like, share, subscribe, or die trying. Catch y'all the next one. Peace.